talk to me about how you remained focused all year at training because I remember there was a session there. We were over in Perth. We were just about yeah. to go on the training paddock and yeah. and obviously the news was coming, you know, thick and fast with Finne about his yeah. condition. You know, one one minute he was feeling okay, next minute, you know, news yeah. is a little bit darker and he's not feeling not feeling the greatest. But I remember that one session and um, we were literally just about to start. We had boots on, ready the coach was ready to blow the whistle to yeah. start and I looked over and you were, you know, had had tears in your eyes. Yeah. Obviously, just got some bad news about yeah. Finney. And um, yeah, I remember coach went over to you and said, "Mate, you know you, you don't need to train. You don't yeah. need to just take a rest." But how did you, you know, bring yourself together to be like, "No, nah, I need to train. I need to separate myself. I need to play this year. Yeah. I need to well, focus on my footy." Well, that's funny that that session as well. I got a call literally, like we said before, the whistle was about to go, and it was the brother saying, "So we were training on that that Friday, was it?" Yep, yep. Friday. So he went in that Friday and he had Monday to kind of breathe on himself, like yeah. breathe by himself or else they were going to turn it off and everything. And he kind of said, this might be the last couple of days. Yeah. Kind of thing. And I just, I couldn't like get myself together a little bit. And I was just like, oh. And so Bomber kind of said, do you want to go back home? We can send you on the next flight tonight. Uh, yep. Back home. And I, I kind of thought about it. And like, if you know Fina, he's just the guy that, no, don't worry about me. <laughs> yeah. Like he he was half dead and still telling us don't worry about me. Like oh, go to man. training, and I was just like, you're half dead, and that's all you care about. Like, yeah. And so, like when I spoke to the brothers and that, they just said, "Listen, what would he want? Like mm. that's that's what he wants. Like yep. he wants me to stick around and yep. support him by representing him. Um, yep. And I'm and I'm grateful I did. Um, and you wore the ten. And yeah, and I was, I was yeah. big 10, so I had his jersey number 10 and the club presented to me and I felt yeah. like I, I, the shoulders got a bit bigger and yeah. I was like, oh, I might have to start rolling the sleeves up for once in my lifetime and um, it was good to kind of go out there and have that big um, slow go. Fight for Finney on, on the back as well, yeah. Yep. And then the boys are just unreal weekend with the boys. Um, yeah, and then again, like for the nines, we... Or get a thousand dollar match fee, yeah. and um, you know if you win, you the prize money gets a bit more. But every player gets a thousand dollars match fee to play. And Ronnie donated, you donated yeah. yours to Finney and his family, mate. That was incredible. Yeah, so like that was that was the hard thing too was taking it to him, um, and just seeing him. Just mm. like that was probably the hardest time I had to see him was that time as well. He just didn't move, nothing. Yeah, um, but I like. Like I think I feel like the boys all played a part in it. Whether we did fundraisers for him, yeah, um, which was awesome. Um, no, I th- feel like the family we really took the pressure off. You know, made out the difference we could. Yeah, um, and I I'm not saying it's just me because those boys were there as well by his bedside. They were there almost every day. And yep. um, no, like Jensen as well. He played a massive part in in this. And this is where I come back to the power of. Playing the NRL, yep, you get yep. to push the message, and I feel like we did did exactly that. Yeah, um, and got them the help that he needed and the funds that their family much needed uh, during that time. And and now that's he's kind of come out of it um, with a, a, vic- a little bit of yeah. victory, and um, we're just rallying around him and enjoying it. I can't wait to have a beer with him when he's. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to have a beer. And he's like, nah, not yet. I can't. I was like, nah, come have a beer. And he's like, but. Yeah, I can't wait for that moment. We can just share a beer because um, we used to have those days. We used to only yep. live up the road from here, so yep. we, used to, we used to just play the guitar. And he was a real good singer, and he could play the guitar as well. So he used to sh- always show off. He used to piss me off, but yeah, um, we used to just sit there and have beers and those little like when we would take things for granted. That's what I took for granted, I think, and yep. all our mates as well. And kind of to have that come back to us now, where we can soon have it. Yeah. Um, I can't wait. I'm going to cherish it a lot more next time we have it. 